let's glance about. All right, see the enemy's trying to make a little arena over there. Jeez, and they're all at distance. Okay, I'll take out this gun. See how this works for me, so hit pip. I'm moving in. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, that's why it's nice to make load games, because they're hiding around corners, doing their work. They're waiting for me. I'm waiting for them. There's a guy who's hiding around the corner up ahead. There's also a guy hiding around the corner over there. Got it! I'm trying to be sneaky snakes. Probably the sneakier of the sneakies. So, was that the same guy or a different guy? Risk going slow mo forward for a second. I'll save it for the moment. I'll enter the area of the shotgun because it's the better quick reaction weapon. I guess there's just three of them. Have their own little fun times in this office building. There was also an explosive crate, but it wasn't really used because they're all in separate directions. Here is my paradise. I like to call it a tech lab. It's my paradise because I love shooting researchers. Ha cha 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 cha. There might be another guy heading back here. At least there's a medical item, which has me suspicious. It's a sleeve. Yep, it leads back to where this was. Right side, nine medical packs. That is pretty okay. Switch off to. Oh, I actually have full regular grenades right now. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Even full detonator grenades, which is a little bit more surprising because those are super rare. They do a lot of damage, though. We have to set them off yourself manually. He's over here! Fuck, fuck. One down, another to kill me. Oh. It's okay, we got this, though. If we can cover... Actually, did I? Yeah, I last saved here. Which means I have to snipe over three guys. Missed him. Perfect. That's two. There. Oh, there's actually another guy. That maybe wasn't my best go, but hey, it managed to work. Why is going in slow motion making his... Del like, do you see that? When I go in slow motion, his skeleton just is like, what the heck? Why? I think that's a glitch. Not even think. I'm pretty sure skeletons don't react like that. Then again, I can't say in real life I've ever used slow motion, so maybe that's just what happens. Skeleton magic, most likely. <sighs> don't want to use another healing item, but I'm probably going to get myself killed over here if I don't. Well, hey, you know, getting killed is part of the fun. He's here. Doing that sometimes is very satisfying. Alright. Even in. Nope. No secret injectors in the corners over there. That means let's continue your quest deep into the Stay on your toes. flashlight. Stay on your flashlight. I know they said toes, but regardless. That's an area for a grenade. Get to cover. That wasn't exactly the type of grenade I wanted to throw, but it seems like it did okay. Is that guy? Or I don't know what that was. And now he rests in pieces. It reminds me of the guy I felt the most sorry for when I was killing him. I shot off his arm and accidentally shot him again when he was in the air, so he just split in half. His legs detached from his upper torso of his body. That was, like, oh. well, that was the fact I was seeing something, but it's not what I thought it was. I was thinking it might be like building up to a scare or something, but no, it's just him. Secure that exit!
If they secure exits, there must be a vent or something hidden around someplace. But first, hacking computers. I figured out what a synchronicity event is. There was an incident where they lost control of Fennel. He just suddenly started freaking out. He was only about 10 years old at the time, but I guess he killed a few people. In the investigation, they discovered that there had been a telepathic link between Fennel and Alma, even though she was in a coma. They concluded that she was influencing him. That must have been when they pulled the plug on Origin. Surprise, a psychic mother can psychically influence her psychic son. They need to think these things out a little bit better sometimes. Alright, so if they locked these doors, would they be leading me to a trap here? Maybe. Gotta fly down here. Surprise, I got a headshot from that distance, but okay. With a shotgun, I mean, but... Time for some sewer fun. There's one guy, there's at least 20 more around the corner. Is that the same guy? I'm not going to place my bets on it. And how do you get all the way from here to there in like the span of... Five seconds. I, mean, I guess he could easily, but I didn't hear him coming. And not to be fair, we're walking in middle gradings. It's pretty loud. At least I feel like my character has louder footsteps He's here. than everyone else in the game. I legitimately think sometimes my character literally is purposely pounding the ground wherever he goes. Let's see. Not sure what type. Oh, yep. Saw rifle. Nope. Take the shotgun and miss that. All right. Is there anything nice in the corner? That is the lock. Okay. I don't look around corners more often. There's very likely guys hiding down here. I'd be more surprised if there weren't, to be honest. Can't fit through there, so yep, only one route to take. Hmm. Hearing footsteps. This is that sound I heard earlier. Is that for these? Yeah, it's for the trundling valve. So there's a lot of explosive potential barrels there, so I'm not going to risk that. Duh, duh, duh. Fucking fail grenades. They shoot a lot of fail grenades, I find. Still there? Who knows? I, I may be backup. or I may not be. Backup, you say? Give me a moment. Didn't work as well as I would have hoped. Slow mo, turn around the corner, distance fighting again. No, 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 I fucking can't. I got stuck on the wall and he threw a grenade and I was like, what the heck is that? And then I died. The end. Bright side of the sequence was actually pretty easy, so I think we'll be okay. And sometimes, with knowing what to expect, you have advantages. Such as in this particular case, I know what to do here. Those are the only two enemies in this sequence, and apparently no enemies are try basically running at me. They're all trying to keep their distance. So this may be fucking a. There was a third guy, right? It's because the first time I got the guy immediately. This time I was reloading my gun, so I wasn't able to really game with slow mo or anything. Speaking of which, I should reload my guns before I enter into this location. Reload you, good, and reload you. You're already reloaded. Okay, we're good. Now if I can be quick about this, a quick draw, quick fire type, then I can probably get him before he leaves. <laughs> Easy enough. Then there's only two guys left. The first one peeks his head up around here. Heal there for a moment, and there should be another guy. 
<laughs> we decided to come around the corner faster than I anticipated, but I was still able to manage it. Alright, that's at least kind of decent. Shotgun, you said. Don't mind if I do. Now, this way should lead me back, me back to this weapon. I'm going to take on a few more distance fighters in a second, so get ready. Three, two, one. Fire everywhere. Actually, I could make fire. This is for science, but more than anything else. So, I mean, I don't know what that's for. Why? His feet exploded? Is there one more guy? It's hard to tell with the smoke. Give this a second to reload. Get prepared in case there is. I certainly don't see or hear one. Could be hiding around the corner because he saw his two friends explode, though. That's definitely a thing that I would do. If I just saw two friends literally explode into skeletons in front of me, I probably wouldn't go through that door either. I'd be like, nope, I'm fine right here. Hmm. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna go back to the shock until I know exactly what I'm facing. Despite the fact that everything seems to be full of distance weapons or distance enemies. Enemies like to keep the distance, so. Probably it's best to keep up my particle gun, but the shotgun again is better for quick. <laughs> Open that up, I don't really need it. Alright. Peekaboo. Here I am. This is the. I hope the giant fat guy gets like a giant mecha boss that we're gonna fight eventually. That'd be pretty cool. Kind of weird, but pretty cool. It's, I'm thinking that might happen because Fear already has mechas, and he's an engineer. So do you think he'd be able to control mechas? I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure if this is the right way or the wrong way. I'll see where it leads to. It seems like I'm going the right way or an area which I can't return from. I'll back out. As I said, I'll back out. I'll look around first. Myself stuck on the ceiling there, but got through. Prediction for the day: This path leads to nothing. Do it. Hey, I mean, I wouldn't know unless, of course, I checked, like I just did. Yeah, this was mostly useless. Got it. Which means the only way forward is conveniently forward. Second prediction: I'm gonna see the fat guy behind a mirror wall or something pretty shortly when I'm going through these fucking vents. Ah, this is one of the sections where you want to be careful where you fall. That's the fire I destroyed earlier. Or at least it looks like the same area. It's like the vents on the pipes on the other side, but regardless, or maybe it's just something that looks a lot like it. Can I just land from here? Probably. Oh, that's actually a load point. Still on interval 9, though. Fear Point Man has reached vicinity of Vault Entrance. ATC security forces are offering resistance. Norton Mapes is destroying evidence of Armachan's activities in the facility. Harlan Wade is inside the facility, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Alice Wade has not been located. Mission primary goal is to secure Harlan and Alice Wade and to eliminate Paxion Fettel. Efforts should also be made to recover incriminating evidence of ATC and Aron doing. Or so they say, let's go straight into it back in. You say there might be secrets in this facility? Nothing over there for me, so let's drop on down. How much crawling have I done today? Quite a bit. What is that? An electric force field. That, I mean, it shouldn't surprise me because there's a lot of other weird technological science. Wait, no, that's not something else. That's a TV. Uh, no. What did I just press? I mean, if they want me to feel bad for shooting that guy, I don't. Outside of the fact that I want to shoot him. 
Eat your cheese poop in hell, bastard. I just, <laughs> just want to say that. All right, now then. <laughs> also, that room looks like a Resident Evil area, personal opinion. Onward to that. Ah, keyboards. I'm not too bothered. I mean, he's dead either way. Now, what's hidden in the vault is going to be the second question. Maybe our guy that looks like the Batman guy is going to be the one who's going to get a fucking super mech. I mean, what would you store in a vault? I don't know. Dude. Can I actually go this way, or do they want me to go the other way like I'm expecting? That kid. He, he, he locked you out. The only way in is to divert power to the door. Situation. Holloway has entered the vault and sealed it by diverting power away from the doors. Norton Mapes is seriously wounded after being shot by Wade. Mission Fear Operative must redirect power to the vault doors in order to pursue Wade. I'll put you out of your misery. Now, uh, let's see. Being me, the Fear Operative, I probably have to go to three different control panels somewhere else in the facility. Right now, there's probably some lever somewhere. Guarded by a bajillion enemies. That's where I came from, so hit it. Here we go. I can already see like a bajillion spots the enemies may in fact pop out from. Sounds enticing. Let's do it. Start by moving this way. Which I can't do because there's a lift over there and it's not really working. Maybe if I had power turned on, I could do something with that lift. Making the call now, will enemies pop up? Really? No? Maybe they might pop up once the power is turned on. That's sometimes is how these things work. I turn power to the facility, and then the place will get bombarded with a shit ton of enemies. How oh, fun. Alright, there's two different ladders. I will take you first. There's so many areas that seem to be designed that there might be combat here, but I'm not seeing any enemies. So I am most likely calling that I'm going to turn the power on, then I'm going to be returning back, so there'll be a shit small army guarding the door on my way back. It's going to happen. I'll use this med pack for the moment. Flammable materials is always for the best. Where, oh where, is the power grid? Oh where, oh where could it be? Okay! Not exactly what I expected, they surprised me earnestly. What's your status? He's a cloud of blood. Well, that worked out pretty decent. All right, ready up, ready step up, and several more guys coming this way. I'm gonna hide behind this barrel. It'll work. Well, this isn't a barrel, this is a box. But trust me, this isn't gonna work. That kind of worked okay. Right side, if they're popping enemies at me now, it means there might be less on the way back. Is that like a small army kind of run for it scenario? This says needs a power generator, I think. Is it deeper in the facility? Is there like two different switches that we have to press? Maybe that means the power generator is in there. I'm not quite sure of the scenario. It made this kind of labyrinth like, though, which I both like, but it also makes things more difficult. Wait, that looks like. Are you a thing? You are a thing. Okay, I'll turn you on. I think there might be three different switches. This is one of them. Is there six? 
Okay. That's the second one. Yeah, I think there's six. I thought it was just going to be three. No, it's freaking six, Ryan. I've only found one so far. Great job. You're making good progress. I mean, there's a second one right here, but, you know. Well, only like four more to go. They seem to be right next to each other, so I guess that's a little bit okay. It's still technically three, but it's also four, which is also three. Yep, this door opened up. Need at least one power source grid. So I saved my checkpoint. Have I been here before? No, it's probably a very similar looking room. That happens a lot. All right. Slow them around corners to make sure I'm not spying something which I probably wouldn't want to see. So both of these led to the same power generator. In fact, that path was a lot shorter. What was I doing all the way on that? Wait, no, this isn't the same area. I thought it was leading me backwards, but no, this is somewhere different. Another, I was just talking about confusing areas, and I do it. Yeah, geez. Let's do this. Happy I saved my game right then. And there you go. And yeah, apparently the chat was frozen for a second with the hitbox side. He just went flying. How is this close range shotgun? Oh, those are more armored enemies. Yeah, those are the biggest armored enemies I've fought so far. So that's why they took more shotgun blasts. You know, I was saying them point blank is because they have all that armor stuffed up right into them. I do, in fact, prefer my shotgun. Thank you very much for asking. <gasps> are you fucking shitting me? Okay, I need to load my game. I'm not gonna lose my shotgun like that with all that ammo. No, I am not living with that. That's the first time I've seen clip through like that, but still though. I thought it was gonna be three shots, but it was only two. So there's three guys over there, so. <laughs> That jiggly head. See? That went pretty well. Okay, pick that up. Use a healing item. And I'm probably okay. I gotta save so I don't lose my shotgun again. But yeah. I... Mm -hmm, got a test. Actually, another hacking machine. And another combat shotgun. Okay. Let's see what this has to say. Another med pack? That's another med pack. Is, is that a light? That's probably a light. I could hope it's an upgrade, but I'm pretty sure it's a light. Also, do I go under this? Or lawn route, lawn route. Yep, that was a light. Okay. If one wants secret passages, they'll must form it themselves. Charge my flashlight for one moment because it's the fastest recharging flashlight I've ever seen in a horror game. Break that open so I know for the future. Apparently, this is a multi purpose complex. Apparently, this is an incredibly useful area. Have I been here before? Or is this just another one of those similar looking areas? I really can't tell. I haven't been here, or else there wouldn't be a med pack spared. You know me. Pick 
that up. See an enemy at a distance there, which means I'm gonna pull out this gun. And I mean, how does he even see me from that distance? Well, do what we can with this next sequence. I just quick save because I thought something like that might happen. They threw a grenade. Didn't even realize it. Yeah, that's what he says to get to cover for. Actually, no, they didn't throw a grenade. All right, which means I should qu quickly try and take them out. I was, I, what? I think it's one of those quick instant explosion grenades because I literally just heard it. I was like, oh, I better run, but then it exploded like moments later. Let me go back and throw it. Yeah, okay, so I have like two seconds to react before I get hit by a grenade. Got it. So I have to be a quick fire, crazy ass shot. This is not the definition of what I was just describing. Who throws that grenade? It's not one of the guys I'm shooting, so there's another guy who throws a grenade at me every single time. That one good? Alright. Oh, I see something. Did he just kill me from all the way across a large room like that with a shotgun blast? How does that work? How's he doing this? Is, maybe he has, actually, he probably has a grenade launcher. That is probably what's going on here. This isn't making sense otherwise. That means... Yeah, he has a grenade launcher. That's what's getting me really bad. <laughs> oh, that explains so much. That explains why the grenades were like, fuck it. Is there another guy shooting me? Maybe there's actually also a second guy. Fuck. There's something I'm missing here. One guy has a grenade launcher. I figured out that much. Shooting grenades and all that. There's a guy right through there. And for some reason, his shotgun blast was shit ton of damage by the fact that he's literally on the other side of the room. There's also a guy with a grenade launcher over to the left. At least I was. Holy hell are these guys! So I have to load through that again. How do I get a shot in if they literally have apparently super fast shoots of uh, shots that do massive. I mean, Wow. I'm gonna make a run for it. I saw him, but the gun seems to shoot. Actually, the shotgun. What? That, that is not just regular grenades. That is a grenade launcher, and I just realized that's not a shotgun. That's this gun. The really powerful, super fast shotgun. That does super damage. On the bright side means I can steal the ammo from him. Downside is that insta kills you, basically, even from a fucking half all the way across the room. 
Yeah, this is going to be tricky because we have two tricky-ass enemies. And they are going to come any closer. They're on the other side of the room and they have the advantage over me in this particular case. It's two of them. They both have super powerful from a distance weapons. I have this and I'm on the rafters as opposed to having any form of cover. So this is going to be tricky. Let's find out. There's the grenade. Was I hearing that wrong? Tricky. That is what this is. Extremely tricky. I'll come back to this. There was another path I didn't really take a look at. I'm not sure if there was actually anything over here, but I can take a moment probably to find out. This leads to med pack. A permanent upgrade. See? And a drop down area that will lead me back over here. See, it was worthwhile to come back over here just to see what I can find. Maybe the enemies will move to more reasonable locations by the time I get back. At least I can hope so. my game there in case things decide to go terribly wrong. I consider every kill in this particular scenario a victory. If he says need reinforcements, that means there's only one or two left, and I only think of, I think I know of one other. What did he just do? Like, literally, what just happened? He, like, tripped over and was like, fuck! <laughs> what? I'm not gonna question. Now, this was a door that wasn't gonna open. Got it. It was false hopes and dreams of cover. And, yep, I can leap over here. Let's see if I can grab some of their guns here. That was not the guy that was giving us trouble. I want to see what the guns were. The two people that are giving me so much trouble over here was. Armor is nice. I will definitely take that. This was is what I think it is. That is... Oh, that's actually a new type of assault rifle, but no. That was a penetrator. Okay. I thought it was uh, whatever this is. I forgot what this gun's name is, but... Oh, wait. Yeah, that one was holding the pen or the bigger one, which I can pick up. So yeah, one of them was holding the gun I thought they were holding. Which would explain why I thought it was a shotgun, because it sounded like one and looked like one. But it could damage you all the way from across the room, because it's super powerful. It's like a suppressed air thing in the Jager. This, okay, we must be near another set of generators, because there is a charger there. Somewhere. Probably down over to the left, because I was over there earlier and there was a path. But I'm just investigating. There we go. Riddle me this. What may be at the bottom of the staircase? If you say probably two power generators, you'd probably be correct. I bet be the blue generators. Let's find out if I'm right. Stuff those generators straight in. Yep, the blue generator. Alright, and then get this one as well. Look at that thing twirl. There's also a computer over there for hacking information, and a ladder that leads downward. It didn't... There's a thing blocking the root. Alright, time to look into this. Why, oh why, is there something blocking that area? Science tells me it's probably a crane lift somewhere. Where? No idea. However, though, probably up there. Let's first interact with this.
Oh my. Alright, probably this is the crane. I have to move the box out of the way. Let's see if I'm right. Simple enough. Maybe too simple. Alright. Back over and out. Seems more like a time waster to me, unless it's like bajillion enemies are about to burst out of nowhere, but I certainly hope not. Let's see. Seems fine. So that was like 30 seconds of distraction. Let's do it again. I like the climaxing music every single time you try and pull these things in. And there you go, the blue generators are back online. There's also a path over I should check. There's also a door behind me that should be unlocked and probably where I need to go next. But first matter first, and I probably should have checked this out when I had a chance to, but I wasn't quite certain. Where's this lead to? Leads to armor. And a gun I do not want. Thank you very much for asking. Armor, grenades that I don't need, a health pack, which I will use for this one immediately. This seems like it was a different path. Another med pack just for this one. Okay. It looped right back around. Wait, is this the same room? Hopefully it is. Yes, it is. That means no regrets. That was, yeah, that was the first generator switch. That means the door over here has been opened up and we can probably get onto the next generator. And then we can return power and get inside the vault. At least call me wishful thinking on that one. That's probably what's going to happen. And maybe the vault will be a boss, or maybe it'll just be a big enemy encounter, or maybe it'll just be a story point. To be fair, this game hasn't had any form of bosses really yet. So probably not a boss, but maybe I might be surprised. 